everyone today is the 29th of October it's just gone 8 43 p.m. and it's also just started raining quite heavily so if you're hearing anything in the background that is what that is um, I had my first doctor appointment today where I basically just went and was like I just found out I'm pregnant what do I do now like help me considering that Nick and I found out like less than a week ago that we're pregnant it already feels like there's so much to do so I'm trying to not let it stress me out I'm trying to just like take it step by step and day by day um, in terms of like symptoms I haven't really had any the nausea that I've like had a couple weeks ago has already kind of gone away but I have a feeling it's probably gonna get worse over the next couple of weeks um, I'm still feeling like super tired and, like super exhausted all the time so I'm just making sure I get like a lot of sleep so today is the 2nd of November it has just gone five o'clock and I have just been uh, doing a bit of research and emailing some midwives because when I went to the doctor on Tuesday she said one of the things I needed to do now was to find a midwife who I think she said like after the first trimester takes over um, my prenatal care and then obviously helps have the baby and then like the um, aftercare as well so I reached out to a few and so many of them have already said that they're like all booked up which is so crazy because I'm only like just six weeks pregnant and I feel like it's kind of a little bit scary that um you know if there's such a shortage of midwives in Wellington or at least ones that are available when our baby is going to be due like I might not get someone that I completely vibe with which I'm sure I will I'm sure it'll be fine but with stuff like this like it's always nice I guess to know that you have a few options in terms of like if you don't click with someone or if they're not like completely your vibe then you can go with someone else I also went and bought this book what to expect when you're expecting it's a massive book so you can see i've already started like flagging some pages because there's like a lot to do in terms of like what you're supposed to be eating in terms of like different uh like carbs and fats and grains and fruit and everything which i feel like is already like way more than i normally eat in a day so i've been highlighting some pages and like trying to make sure that i vary my diet and like get in as much of the nutrients and the stuff that this book is telling me that i should have in so you can see i've been like highlighting the pages of like the food that I'm likely to eat um and then also just has a bunch of information in terms of like at week six this is what your baby would be like and at week seven and stuff like that so I've only read like this much of it because of course I'm quite early on in my pregnancy but yeah it's like a lot of information I feel like a little bit of like information overload right now okay it's actually the next day now it is Sunday the 3rd of November it has just gone four o'clock I actually was just having a nap and I got a phone call from one of the midwives that I emailed yesterday um just talking me through like I guess her style her practice if she was free to be a midwife and I'm pretty sure she is which is a great sign I've only spoken to her on the phone but she sounds really nice she sounds like the type of person that I'd be comfortable with we have a meeting set up with her on the 15th of November in the afternoon and earlier on that day we also have our first baby scan which is really crazy like already that we're going to be able to see our baby so that's in two weeks so yeah I'm already feeling like a lot calmer now that we have a midwife sorted out and now really we just need to keep cooking the baby um and wait until the 15th today is the 11th of November I've just gone home from work and today I actually told the first person who like isn't a doctor that I'm pregnant which is really exciting and also feels super surreal so I told my friend Mon who I also work with and the reason I told her is because like we've got our work Christmas party coming up next Friday um a bunch of us like work girls are going for dinner and drinks and I didn't know how to like not be drinking and not have it be obvious I thought like if I have a wing woman if I have someone helping me out then it might just be a little bit easier and also I just really wanted to tell her um so yeah she is the first and only person that knows right now which is kind of crazy um but as I said I felt like I needed her help with a few things um and then the second crazy thing that happened was my best friend Hannah Hannah if you're watching this when this video is released I wonder if I've told you the story yet but earlier on today Hannah sent me a text and said um let me find it so I had a dream last night that you had a baby that was 11 months old and I'd never met her For those of you that don't know my best friend Hannah lives in Australia and I live in New Zealand so we don't get to see each other all of the time she woke up and was like wow that will never happen and then I had to like go back and be like how funny like obviously if I had a kid like you would be in that baby's life and you would be like the best auntie possible and it was real weird to like have that conversation and for her to like have that dream it's like a premonition um so yeah, I'm looking forward to when I see Hannah in 
January, which probably has already been by the time you see this video, um, A, like being able to tell her in person, which will be cool, and B, like being able to remind her of this moment, um, which is pretty crazy. Today is Friday the 15th of November. I've got a little Subi sitting down here with me. So this morning, Nick and I had our dating scan, which is essentially like the first scan the first time that you get to see the baby and they just make sure that the due date um is kind of accurate so i thought today that i was eight weeks based on like when they think my due date is but um we had the little scan so this is what the little baby looks like and i think i'm like seven and a half weeks or like something between seven and eight weeks so just like a few days before what I thought I was. I didn't really know what to expect um, at the scan as well because obviously I've never had one before. It was only like 10 minutes long, if that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just really glad to see that there is a baby in there. He also said, yep, there's only one, which was crazy because up until that point I hadn't even thought about the possibility of twins. So I'm glad that it was like shut down real fast because that would be a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, up until this point I haven't really had any symptoms other than being just like super tired. I've had a few days of feeling nauseous um, but like I haven't had any severe morning sickness, touch wood. So it's a bit later on in the day now and we just met up with our midwife for the very first time. She seems really cool when we went and met her. Um, in terms of like the information that she gave us there's like stuff that she recommends but there's also stuff that she's like it's just up to you if you want to do this or do that. Today is the 20th of November. I'm just about to leave for work. So be having a wee little sleep behind me um but yesterday i got the results or the notes back i guess from the ultrasound that i had on friday and if you remember it was actually probably in like the clip before for you um i mentioned that the ultrasound technician said that i was measuring a little bit smaller than i thought i was so my due date was going to get pushed like four to a few days and i was going to go like back in time in my pregnancy. From the results that I got back yesterday, I'm actually a whole nine days like behind where I thought I was. So my due date is getting pushed forward nine days and I am going like back in time nine days. According to my app, I'm back to seven weeks, three days. I feel like I've been in my seventh week of pregnancy for a very long time. Today is Friday the 22nd of November. It's super windy outside, but so my hair looks terrible. Um, it's just gone 2.40 and I have just come home from work early because Pregnancy this week is kicking my butt. I've definitely started to feel a little bit nauseous in the mornings now, but it doesn't seem to be like, regardless of if I eat something as soon as I wake up or not, like the nausea doesn't really seem to go away, which I'd heard like for some people, if they kept crackers by the bed or whatever, like if they ate a cracker, then they'd be fine. But for me, it doesn't really seem to make a difference. Um, luckily, I haven't been like actually sick yet, touch wood. Um, but it's just like a little bit of a nauseous feeling. And I think because I hate feeling nauseous, when I feel nauseous, I also get a little bit anxious as well, which definitely doesn't help the situation. So I've had a bit of that going on every day this week. I think it's a combination of just like feeling tired anyway um, because I haven't been sleeping properly and then also potentially coming down with something because there's been like a lot of sickness and bugs going around my office that I've really tried to avoid. I've been like hand sanitizing every five seconds but I think I'm battling something as well. So I've come home a little bit early. I'm gonna just hop into bed, keep an eye on my emails and I think just like rest and relax. It's not ideal but I also feel like it could be a lot worse. So like I'm again touching wood that it doesn't get any worse than this. Um, and that at least it's manageable and I'll just have to like figure out, I don't know, if I try eating something else or like try and figure out something to hopefully help um, like calm the nausea. So today is Saturday the 30th of November and Nick and I are heading along to an event today that we booked tickets to so long ago before we even thought there'd be a possibility that I was pregnant. So I don't really know how today is going to go but we're going to an event called Bears at the Basin which is essentially just like a big like craft beer and food festival at the Basin Reserve which is like a cricket ground in Wellington. We're going with a bunch of our friends. I know a lot of my workmates and like Nick's workmates and stuff are going to be there as well so I feel like hopefully there'll be enough people there that I'll be able to like get away with not drinking but I've already like checked out all of the vendors and stuff that are going to be at this event and there's only one place that is serving only non-alcoholic stuff so I don't really know how I'm going to get away with that. I think it's going to be one of those things that like I'm obviously going to be hyper aware of the fact that I'm not drinking but no one else is probably even going to notice or care so I think it will be fine. I just like so far I've been able to like get away with it because I haven't been at like an all day drinking festival essentially. I've just had like Friday drinks with my friends after work and stuff so I've just been able to like 
have something non-alcoholic and it's been fine. So yeah, this will be an interesting test. All right, it's the next day, it's December 1st, and yesterday went pretty well. I feel like two people were like slightly suspicious. I guess we'll see when we eventually start telling people if they then say like, I knew it or like I figured it out on that day. It has just gone 1026 on the 22nd of December. I am officially 12 weeks today, which is crazy that I only have a week left of my first trimester. Today is also an exciting day because we are telling Nick's family that we are pregnant. So we're gonna be away for actual Christmas with my family. So we're having like an early Christmas with Nick's side of the family today. In terms of how we plan on telling them, ages ago when we were still in London, when we were just dating, we weren't engaged, we weren't married, um, I found Nick this book, which is like the little ladybird book of The Hangover, which is just like a funny book filled with like funny things that happen when you have a hangover. I think just after I gave Nick that book we were in WH Smith and we found that they had like a whole series of like how-to books related to a family. So they had one for like the mum, the dad, the husband, the wife and we decided to buy this series of books because we thought they were quite funny and it included a book called The Grandparents. So we bought an extra one of them knowing that eventually when um we like come to tell our families that we are pregnant, it would be a pretty cool gift to give them this book. Because for Nick's parents and my parents, it's the first grandchild. So it's kind of like, I don't know, just like a little bit more exciting because it's like the very first uh, kid in the family. So we've got them both this book and our idea is to put in um, our 12 week ultrasound in like the front cover of the book. Our 12 week ultrasound is actually tomorrow. So instead what we've done is scan a copy of the dating scan that we got because we only got like one picture from there. So we've scanned a copy of that and we've stuck it in the book for Nick's family and then tomorrow after our 12 week ultrasound we can just go around to their house and give them like the updated photo where the baby actually looks a bit more like a baby and less like a blob. Today is Monday the 23rd of December, it's just gone like 10.13 and I have just gone home from our 12 week uh, ultrasound. Nick was with me as well but he has now gone off to work which is why he's not here. I'll insert some little clips right now of what our baby looked like. But yeah so far everything looks really healthy which is good. Telling Nick's family yesterday it was really cool, it was like super exciting to finally be able to tell them and like to start openly talking about it and tomorrow on the 24th we are flying up north where my parents live and we're going to be telling them so I'm also really excited for that like now that we've started telling people I just want to tell everyone because it's really exciting. Good morning from beautiful Franz Joseph everyone. Today I am officially 13 weeks pregnant which one of my apps says means I'm in the start of my second trimester and the other app says I'm in my last week of my first trimester so I think that's probably more likely because it's like the last month in the third wait last week in the third month of my pregnancy um but yeah so far so good we've started telling everyone we told my family over christmas and a couple of my aunties and uncles and cousins and my grandpa as well i also made my first uh baby purchase of this adorable little uh gray and white stripe baby grow this is from pumpkin patch which if you're from new zealand is like the brand of my childhood basically there and urban angel was like i felt like what i lived in um and we were in a store and they had a bunch of baby stuff and it happened to be from pumpkin patch so i figured this would be a good first purchase for the baby and then when we were staying with my auntie she makes a bunch of baby clothes and things for babies like toys and stuff and she gave us this little bib which has buzzy bees on it which if you're not from new zealand this buzzy bee is like a classic New Zealand kid toy um, so this is pretty cute as well. It has just gone 3 15 on the 4th of January and today I'm officially on my last day of the first trimester because I turn like a new week every Sunday so tomorrow for me I will be starting 14 weeks which is the start of my second trimester. I must say this last week so I'm pretty sure the last update that I did was when I turned 13 weeks last Sunday um, hasn't been the best overall pregnancy wise I have been experiencing um, all of like the headaches and the dizziness that is kind of like normal for this time of pregnancy um, but I think because it's been a while since I've been feeling like that then it's just kind of like really knocked me back. I've basically just been drinking a heck of a lot of water um, and then using like a cold flannel on my head when I need it and then just getting a lot of sleep. Like today literally Nick and I went out for uh, brunch and then we did a few errands and then I basically have just come back and slept for the last couple of hours just because I was feeling so exhausted and just had like such a headache. It's not exactly the happiest thing to end this first trimester video on but that's also just real life so I kind of just have to like live with it for the next couple of weeks and hope that it dies down which I've heard it does seem to die down um, over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully it does die down for me in the next couple because 
Uh, Nick and I are going to Melbourne in like two weeks for me. So we would have already been and gone by the time you've seen this video, I think. Um, but I want to still be able to like go out and explore Melbourne for the week that we're there and not just have to be confined to our hotel room. So fingers crossed I'm okay for that trip. Um, but yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you very much for sticking with me, for sticking through this video if you've made it to the end. For now though, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and a wonderful week when you're watching this video. And I'll see you all later on. Bye.